Hey, and welcome back to Wild Mythology. I welcome you to the channel with bread and salt. Today's video is going to be part one of a series where I talk about every creature, monster, and yokai from Japanese mythology and folklore. But before we get to that, don't forget to join this month's giveaway for the 75th anniversary book of Timeless Tales of Gods and Heroes by Edith Hamilton. All you have to do is subscribe and make a comment on this video. Plus, don't forget to comment on any other video I make this May. It gives you an extra chance to win. Now, let's get to the creatures of Japanese mythology. Number 1. Kitsune The Kitsune are mystical fox yokai and are one of the most famous creatures in the world. Kitsunes are said to be the creation of Inari, the goddess of agriculture and foxes. Kitsunes are incredibly intelligent and can be categorized into two classifications. The first are called Zenko, which are kind and helpful Kitsune connected to Inari. The second are called Yako, and these Kitsune are deviants and malicious. According to legend, every 100 years a Kitsune will grow a new tail and will gain new powers. A Kitsune is able to gain up to 9 tails, and after gaining it, they turn white and become Tenkos, the celestial foxes. Kitsunes have the abilities of shapeshifting, possessing, creating illusions, manipulating foxfire, light, invisibility, dream manipulation, and once they reach their ninth tail, the ability to see and hear anything in the world. When it comes to Kitsune's ability to shapeshift, they usually take the forms of a beautiful woman or an elderly man. You can identify a transformed Kitsune in quite a few different ways. Supposedly, if a Kitsune is shapeshifted, their shadows will be fox-shaped, and their reflection in mirrors will show the form of a fox. Also, a careless or inexperienced Kitsune will have their tail showing, and will be trying to hide it under their clothes. Another sign of a transformed Kitsune is that they will be scared of dogs. In myth and folklore, Kitsunes are usually portrayed as tricksters who will either play mischievous tricks or malevolent tricks. The trick can be anywhere from stealing, to seducing, to killing. But while Kitsunes are famous tricksters, they are also creatures of great honor, and are known to keep their promise when swearing on something important, and are also known to strive to repay favors. In myth, this usually involved a Kitsune making a collaboration with a human clan that resulted in great boons for both parties. Number 2. Juboko Juboko is a yokai that takes the form of a vampiric tree. A juboko usually comes into existence when a tree is close to a nearby battle. After the fighting is done, if the battle is extremely bloody, all that blood will be transferred into the nearest tree, turning it into a juboko. The Jiboka will then come alive and move itself to a better hunting spot. Anyone that passes too close to a Jiboka will be captured by its branches and have their blood completely sucked out. If the Jiboka is ever injured, blood will spill out of its injury, but it will be able to heal itself by absorbing fresh blood. According to legend, the branches of a Jiboka are able to heal humans of mortal wounds. Number 3. Yamada no Orochi Yamada no Orochi is a legendary snake with eight heads and eight tails, and is the mortal enemy of Suzanu, the god of the sea and storms. In mythology, Suzanu gets banished from the heavens because of his outrageous behavior towards his sister. Following a river upstream, Suzanu comes upon a crying couple. Asking what is wrong, the couple tells him that the terrible beast Orochi comes to their land every seven years and devours one of their daughters. They explain to Suzano that the next day, Orochi will appear for their eighth and final daughter, Ushina Dahimi. Seeing the eighth daughter, Suzano instantly falls for her great beauty and asks her father for her hand if he takes care of the snake Orochi. They agree and Suzano turns their daughter into a comb and puts her into his hair for safekeeping. He then orders the couple to make eight giant platforms and to put eight giant jars of liquor on top of them. The next day, Orochi arrives and drinks all the liquor, becoming extremely intoxicated. Suzano then charges at Orochi, challenging him to a battle. And even though Orochi was drunk, the Great Serpent still gave Suzano a tremendous fight. But eventually, Suzano won by cutting off each of Orochi's heads and tails. When the battle was done, Suzano found the legendary sword Kusanagi no Surugi within one of Orochi's tails an item that he would gift to his sister Amaterasu. The giving of this gift to Amaterasu would gain her forgiveness for Suzano's past behavior. Number 4. Sugari 
Sugaris are horse yokai that take the appearance of a disgusting horse head that enjoys dropping down from trees and letting out a horish scream to scare travelers. Sugaris are created from the spirits of dead horses that were left to rot on the side of the road. If there is a tree above the dead horse when its spirit leaves its body, the spirit will transform into a Sugari and be stuck in the tree for eternity. Number 5. Yatagarasu Yatagarasu is a legendary three-legged crow that is the messenger of the gods and the guardian of the gods' descendants. In mythology, Yatagarasu helped guide the first emperor of Japan, Emperor Jimu, who was the descendant of both Amaterasu and Suzanu. Jimu's older brother wanted to move his clan to a new home and decided to travel eastward. Unfortunately, they ran into a rival clan and Jimu's older brother was killed. Jimu realized that because his clan was descended from Amaterasu, the goddess of the sun, they could never win a battle fighting towards the east. In that moment, Yadagarasu appeared to Jimu and told him that it could guide him and his clan to a location where they could defeat the rival clan. Doing so, the clan attacked their rivals, but this time fought towards the west. Because of this, Jimu and his clan won, a major victory that helped Jimu's claim for becoming emperor. And there it is, I give you 5 monsters and creatures from Japanese mythology. I hope you enjoyed the video. Go check out our other content and don't forget to subscribe and comment so you can enter our giveaway. Well until next time on Wild Mythology.